All right, well, good day and welcome back. Just doing a quick little update video again today. The first of the things that we are taking a look at is you'll notice there just above my head, I've added a couple of little details to the bridge. Heading across to the Botanic Gardens. Now, if you haven't caught up with this build before, what I've got is the tarred roof shingle as the handle but what I wanted to do underneath was provide some sort of little detailing and what we've done is we've used the city wall block and this is just from my previous use of city wall block I know it creates you know lovely little angles and you know it gives a, a great little kind of detailing when you just sort of build it in single single blocks so that's the first of our sort of little changes there the next of our changes not sure if you noticed it already but if you tuned in last week as well we just went ahead and started building our alchemist now, we haven't really populated much in here, as he does a lot of books, I'll probably do a lot of bookshelves and stuff in here, and I've still yet to work out exactly what I'm going to put in here, but what we do have in here is uh, a bit of a viewing area here, and I mention that because what I've done is kind of created a bit of a waterfall here with these new tiles, uh, which is the ectoplasm block. So, what I'm sort of saying mythology wise is that we've got a bit of an ectoplasm waterfall that's kind of cruising along through here and that starts up here welcome to flameborn's cafe <laughs> notice the little f and the b there the f and the b so what i decided to do when i was kind of uh cruising through and working on the alchemist orders here was that I wanted to you know have a bit of a space for him to sort of look out onto the town center but because of the lack of height that he has so you'll see there you know the carpenter's got some height there for his little space collector's got some height there that's his space up there Carpenter has height, his space there. Hunter has height right up the top there. But the alchemist doesn't really have any height. So I thought, well, instead of getting hung up on just creating just the space for the alchemist to kind of sit, why don't I create a space for the townsfolk to come and sit? So that was why I kind of came up with this idea of flame bonds as a little kind of cafe. Now this is going to kind of come sort of close to where I want my residence to be but I've got an enormous space here for my residence like I did say that I wanted my residence to be enormous but what I'm going to do for my residence is you know there's going to be huge trees and stuff everywhere and I'll probably have them kind of coming all the way up to here anyway so I don't really think I'm going to miss the space that much we've got tons of space over here to work with so I'm not really too stressed about it so Flameborn's Cafe does uh, pizzas in the little pizza oven there and coffees. <laughs> so it's a cool little place to come hang. I decided to use all the stone um, great views from up here. All of the stone chairs and stone tables because it's outdoors so and the um, firefly lamps and there you'll see there that's the ectoplasm waterfall that's kind of coming through and my sort of mythology for it is that it's flowing through the wall here I'll, I'm yet to fix that up I'll fix that up in a minute um, so yeah we've got a bit of an ectoplasm waterfall that comes down through flameborns and it falls through a hole in the ceiling and comes out downstairs so I'm really digging the cafe. I think that's a pretty cool and, and welcome addition. 
I need to, I needed, to, I realised I sort of needed to start sort of thinking about, you know, townsfolk and, you know, if, if the game does get NPCs eventually, then it'd be great to kind of have space for them to run around. Even if it doesn't, I really don't care because I was eventually going to be making space anyway for a hypothetical town and hypothetical people, which was going to be over here. Which we've discussed in the past, it was all going to be over in this space over here. And the reason I got the idea for that sort of Flameborn's Cafe was last episode we were kind of discussing this space up here. I was kind of, you know, theorizing and sort of, uh, you know, wondering. I made a little set of stairs here for the hunter to get up uh, to go this way to see other townsfolk, but this way to kind of head up to a little, um, you know, shared kind of communal space. And I thought, Look, that's great. It'd be great to have a shared little communal space over here that has these views, but there's no shared communal space that has the other views. So I thought, well, why don't I just do two? <laughs> so that's what we ended up doing. That's That was the rationale behind that. The other sort of little change that I've gone ahead and uh, implemented here, there's a, a couple and you might have noticed I've actually taken this uh, large tree here out and planted another one and I planted it I was hoping that you could sort of rotate the trees around because what I noticed was the tree that I planted there was sort of growing at a different angle than this one was and I really do, you know, these these trees are my favourite trees of the whole trees in the game. You know, they get such a wide and flat kind of spread of leaves, so they provide so much shelter and, you know, if you're going for a real kind of, you know, in the treetops kind of vibe, which is what I really want from this residence, like that was my dream when I started building it, um, then these trees are absolutely perfect. And I think this one here even though it's still not fully grown because it's just kind of growing in flower soil right now. I think this time it might actually be a bit better than it was previously because previously it was kind of growing all the way through the house and it was just a bit stupid looking and I couldn't even walk through this path here but you know here it's kind of like just kind of treetoppy enough. What I also did was added some uh, fertilized farm soil down here and um, you know, through a little extra bit of flower soil as well, and through another one of those trees in there. However, it's not really kind of growing at the angles that I want it to grow at, so I think what I might do is chop it down and replant it again and try it again. But, you know, that's really not any problem because in that fertilized farm soil they grow so fast anyway so but you can see sort of when you when you get the view from here you know it really looks like it's kind of a theme that goes across there you've got the one up the top the one there the one there above my head and then a third one over towards the edge will be just perfect the other thing that that kind of um you know brings into question is these two trees here. Oops. Uh, that one there and this one here, which is behind my little private doorway. I think I'll get rid of those eventually. That's sort of just tweak, tweak things. And I'm liking the way that this sort of the roots are growing through here as well. That's kind of a, a look that I kind of wanted as well. So that's a, another couple of little changes and those future changes probably be on those trees and a couple of other sort of tiny things or sort of things worth mentioning that I haven't mentioned as yet because I've actually finished the series on the botanic gardens now because it's sort of grown out pretty much the way I wanted it to and as I mentioned in the past, there's only sort of little tweaks I want to do from here. You know, a couple of little bushes and whatnot extra in there. 
and a couple of trees maybe one here one here which I haven't done yet I'm sort of waiting for you know to see how all the other trees in the area kind of fill out but what I have finished now and I'm really liking is this tree here and this little lookout so you get some cool views from here now so you can kind of get some views over to there and I'll probably tweak around and throw a few more little firefly lamps in here as well because you can sort of see in here at night time but not quite the way I want it to I'll probably get rid of that lantern as well a lot of these lighting decisions were just lights that I sort of threw in just for the heck of it so I had something to see along the way because as you can imagine I'm using a hell of a lot of resources for all of the uh, things that I'm doing so while I have used one of these here I might actually use another one and leave it sort of here that'll give me some light up the top here probably what I'll end up doing and I'll put some more firefly lamps in down the bottom and everything here is now completely grown in and totally fine and all the trees and everything are totally fine the way I want but yeah that's the latest update on everything in terms of what's coming next we'll do a little bit more work uh, quite possibly on the farmers residence that'll be the update upcoming and We'll continue on with this build here as well for the Alchemist. All right, well, that'll wrap us up. I'll keep you up to date with what's going on, and we'll see you next time on Glitch Gaming.